everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look. We have another Deer Family product here. This is a heated chair, a heated camping chair. So we're going to be taking a look at this. We're going to get it out of the box. This is the initial box. It comes in a very big box, very well packaged for protection and transit. We're going to pull it out. We're going to set that aside. Right off the bat, you got a nice little carry handle here. You can carry it. So we're going to go ahead and take it out of the carry bag. It also has a very nice, you can cinch that up, push this button, pull that down. Nice and snug fit. So let's go ahead and let's take this out of the carry case. And right here, it's got Velcro on it to help hold it closed. You just bring that around just like that. And then open it up just like that. You have some pockets on the sides and right here. A couple pockets. Here's the battery pack over here on this side with the switch. And inside we have our user guide with some information on it. Very easy setup. As you can see, I'm sitting in it already. And a USB-C charging cable. Now, if you saw my last video, I did their gloves. Very nice set of gloves. As always, there will be links in the description for the products that I review. These are honest reviews. If I think it needs improving, I will say that. But as I said in my last video, I have several of their products. And they have yet to let me down. Everything's worked flawlessly and I've used many, many times. Right here's the pocket for your battery pack. Right here. And also on here, you can push the power button. And it has little lights on here. There you go. Stays on for like 10 seconds. Tells you we got pretty much a full charge, although they do recommend you charge it first. Just like the gloves, we have a barrel connector. We'll plug in to the barrel connector. And I've seen the lights blink over here. And you have back chair, which is the back. You can have heated, or you can have the seat part heated, or you can have them both heated. So we're going to turn this on right now. And the back of it is starting to heat up and I can feel it already and there's the cushion and I can feel it starting to get warm already and like I said in my last video with the gloves we are in Florida but in January and February it does get down in the 30s in this part of Florida where I'm at I have actually done vehicle work at 30 degrees exactly November it gets down in the 40s March it still gets down in the 40s so this will be useful even here in Florida and I can feel right now this has been less than five minutes I turned the camera off moved you over here and turned you back on and I can feel it it's very very warm so I'm gonna shut these off and we're gonna talk about battery pack for a second on the information here on high it will get 131 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. On medium, 118.4 to 127.4 Fahrenheit, which is about 48 to 53 degrees Celsius. And on low, it will get 104 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. Now when you're on high, the light will be red. When you're on medium, the light will be white. And 
when you're on low, the light will be blue. It tells you everything you need to know here on the battery pack. If you need to charge your battery pack, USB-C goes right in there. You plug it in, it will charge. This is your output to plug into the chair. Now what I like about this battery pack is you can turn this around, plug this in here, and you can charge other devices with it. You plug it in and hold your button on for a couple seconds. And there it is, it's charging. But as you can see, right up in the corner there, the battery symbol is charging. Now, if I pull the plug out, it's no longer charging. So you can also use this battery pack to charge your cell phone or whatever you need to charge up. That is a very nice feature. Here we go again. We're going to turn this on. And it is charging. You can also put your little cord right down into the same pocket. Got a nice little Velcro there. Now let's fold the chair up and let's see how easy it is to fold up and put back in the bag. So all we're going to do here is grab two ends. I'm going to use the back and you push them together. Right here is where they clip in. One on either side. It also has a pouch in the back to put a laptop to put drinks whatever your case may be and we're just going to fold this up again to unfold it goes like that and to fold it you can grab the arms or the back and push that in we're going to bring our strap around we're going to bring it through the buckle and we're going to cinch it up around here till you get to the furry part of the velcro and that cinches it up nice and tight and it will stay that way. And we're going to put the chair back in its pouch. We're just going to start that in, start the feet in, <laughs> let it slide down into the pouch, pull up on your pouch, give it a little shake, then cinch your drawstring up. Just like that, pull your buckle down, and you're ready to go. Now I know that's pretty easy for a lot of people, but if you don't know, I had a stroke in 2019, so it's hard for my right hand to do things. So for me, just little things like this can be a challenge sometimes. This was not a challenge at all. I did it just fine as you can see by myself. It goes into the pack a lot easier than a couple other camping folding chairs that we have. This went in nice and easy. And I like the power pack that you can charge other devices on if you have a little light. You can plug into the little light at nighttime. You can use the heater, very versatile. So I always love things that you can do more than one thing with. It's multi-purpose and this is one of them. So I wanna thank Dear Family for sending this to me. As always, there will be a link in the description for this product if you are interested. Thanks again and thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day everyone and stay safe.